Holy smokes. No, really, smoke. And a lot of it. Grounding flights making it hard to breathe for millions of Americans. Unlike what the great poet Seals and Crofts promised us, that summer, summer breeze, breeze, it doesn't quite make, make us feel, feel fine anymore. <laughs> let's break it down in 60 seconds or so. Okay, so let's start with the number. As of August 7th, about 500 wildfires were burning in the U.S. That's close to 2 million acres. Pop over the border in Canada, they're dealing with 730 active fires. Yes, humans do start most fires, but climate change is creating the fuel for the fire, making the underlying conditions more likely. Fire weather days, hot, dry, windy conditions, they're becoming more frequent in the U.S. On average, Western U.S. climate divisions experience 31 fire weather days annually. That's almost four times more than what the Eastern U.S. experiences, which is about eight days on average. And after an early start to this fire season, it is forecast to last much longer than average into the fall. So let's talk about those underlying conditions. The heat that has a fingerprint of climate change. Central Canada just had temperatures 20 degrees Fahrenheit above average, and a recent Climate Central analysis showed that this heat was made at least three times more likely because of climate change. The western U.S. is experiencing virtually impossible heat, even here in late summertime, strongly linked to climate change. This fire danger is expected to remain high through at least the middle of August. When wildfires rage, that smoke travels. We've seen it across the U.S. PM 2.5 particles are what they're called. They dive deep into your lungs and your bloodstream, causing everything from irritation to serious heart and lung problems. The result? Wildfire smoke has reversed decades of air quality improvements in 30 states. So yeah, Seals and Crofts promised us blowing jazz in the 70s. Casey Musgraves, though, I think more accurately nailed it. We're just blowing smoke. See climate change's fingerprint on your air quality right now. It's up at climatecentral.org.